Hey YouTube, it's After the Dawn here with a Black Ops 3 Zombie tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build the sword. So the first step to building the sword is you're going to need three symbols. You, uh, you uh, grab these symbols by riding the train. So if you look at this map right here, the train is always where the light is. And then you'll see those, those uh, question marks. So those question marks is where you need to be looking for those uh, symbols. So what I like to do is I like to go straight across so I only have to look at one side. So if I'm at the canal, I want to go to the waterfront and look out the left side. So I'm going to hop in here, make sure it's set to the waterfront. And then I'm going to start it and look out the left side. <clears throat> so this left side, you'll see these symbols pop up here soon. On solo, you can pause it like so. You can pause it and see what symbol it is right here. It's this uh, four arrows all pointing into the center. So either write these down or just try to remember them because uh, there's three symbols that you need and the symbols change every single game. So be sure to ride the trolley. You only need to ride it uh, twice to get all the symbols. And, um, and yeah, the next symbol will be coming up right here. You'll see boom. It'll be the arrow on top, arrow on the bottom with a double triangle with a line. <clears throat> and now we need to wait for the, uh, the trolley to trolley to cool down and uh yeah i mean yeah we need the trolley, the trolley to cool down and then we can ride it again and get the last symbol <clears throat> now that i can use the trolley now that i can use the trolley again after it cooled down now i'm going to go to the footlight district and look out the right side to grab the last symbol make sure you don't get the zombie in there with you because it's a fucking bitch if he's in there with you boom and then look out the right side <clears throat> you'll see this is the symbol for the waterfront and I need the symbol for Le Foot Light. So you'll be seeing the symbol coming up here soon. Be sure to always look at that map before you hop on uh, the trolley and make sure you you're, it's set to the right location and make sure you're looking at the correct side otherwise you'll be you'll be mad at yourself. And the last symbol is the double triangles with a line and Two of them, one on top of the other. Okay, so now we have all of our symbols. Now what we need to do is go down to the rift and um, and open up the wall to grab our egg. All right, now once you're in the rift, you see this wall right here? We're going to use our beast mode. We're going to look at the wall. You'll see the symbols pop up, and we're going to zap the symbols that we need. So it's that symbol, the double triangles with the line, and the last symbol was the arrows on top of each other with the uh, double triangle in the middle. And that is going to open up the wall so we can actually grab our egg. So return back to human mode. Come over here. Grab your egg. And the first step now to, up, uh, to get your sword is you're going to need to get kills at these statues right here. So there's four statues around the map. There's this one. There's one in the canal. There's one in the footlight and there's one in the waterfront and you're basically going to have to get kills next to them to charge your egg. So you see that? Boom. So basically I'm going to go through a couple rounds and charge my egg at all the four locations and uh, and then I'll show you what the next step is. And after your egg is complete, you want to go pick up your egg. You'll hear a little noise like you just heard there. Pick up your egg and go to the next location. Here's the second location. Be sure not to grab nukes. Because you want to get your kills next to your statue. There we go. You heard that noise. Got to grab my egg and get the hell out of here. Highly recommend grabbing Jug and a decent gun before you even attempt doing this. Otherwise, you will probably die. Most of the time, you're doing this on a higher round. I'm doing this on a really low round because I haven't uh, opened up Pack-a-Punch yet. You can actually do your egg uh, super early as well. If you follow my tutorial on how to Pack-a-Punch by round 3, um, you'll be able to Pack-a-Punch by round 3 and then start working on the steps for your egg by around four or five or so. So basically I'm, a, I'm on the same path. I just skipped a little bit ahead. 
So right here, you're going to go to this statue. You're going to melee it open. Uyakasha, place your egg down. And get kills on this location. Highly recommend doing this on as early round as possible because the later the rounds go, the harder it is is going to be to kill all these zombies as they come. So I highly recommend doing this as early as possible. If not, you can do it right off the bat before you even open up Pack a Punch, so that you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about going down on a higher round and stuff like that. So. Right here, we should get the last. Oh, there we go. It's filled up. There we go. Grab our egg and go to the last location. The last location is right here in the Footlight District. Place your egg down. Get these kills, and then I'll tell you the very, very last step. This is basically the last step, um, but there's one more step after this, technically. After you. Get your kills here, I'll let you know what to do next. Or you can shot, our egg is finished. Grab our egg, completed egg, turns blue. See that? Special items, egg is completed and it's turned blue. So now what you're going to do... You're going to go back to the rift. You're going to go place your egg back in the place that you took it. And voila. You achieved grabbing the sword. Sword has two, two different attacks. has a lightning slam and then the slash. The slash is right. Lightning slam is pretty cool, personally. I like it. Uh, Duke it! Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Be sure to leave a like or and subscribe for more. Uh, thanks for watching.